Matthew chapter 6, verse 22. And it reads, The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, the whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, but if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekah Kodesh. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, our Heavenly Father. His name is Yahweh, which means He is. Ba'ashem, which means in the name of Yahweh Shai, and whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, which means He delivers. All right. He delivered. Our Savior. Okay. Just a few scriptures. Uh, headed into the plantation. A few scriptures have been on my mind. You know, we got a bunch of things going on. Prophecy going forward. Wars and rumors of wars. Pestilence lurking in the background. We in the fourth quarter. You know, we, we in the very last few seconds of America, Babylon the Great. All right. And uh, we got to keep our eyes single. You know, with all these things happening and going on, you know, we got to we got to we got to stay, stay sharp and stay. Uh, and I speak first and foremost to myself. And stay uh, like, you know, the elder. The elder apostle has been talking about analyzing. The elder apostle Tahar going into analyzing things. And whenever you're analyzing things and you're trying to search out a matter, you know, you, you, you're just laying it all on the table. You know? Laying it all on the table, lay it all out there, and go over the information, you know? We're living in a time whenever, you know, we don't have that much time left to, you know, keep making the same mistakes, you know, keep making the same mistakes, keep on, you know, you know, we're getting closer and closer to that day, that perfect day, man, and we ought to be growing in this thing, and I speak first and foremost to myself, you know, this is pretty much for myself. But let me read that second part again, verse 23, that second verse uh, that I'd read earlier. It's uh, Matthew 6 and 23, but if thine eye be evil, let's go back to 22. The light of the body is the eye. The light of the body. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Your eye single. Okay, go into that word real quick. And our 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 eyes should be single. Let me see what that means real quick. It's like here. I if I single. Hapalosa says uh simple, single, whole. Good for feeling its office. Sound. That's right. Sound doctrine. Okay. Of the eye, it says, uh, let me see if I can go into, uh, fuck you. Yeah. Let me see. Pretty much, yeah, single, um, properly folded together, single. So you're keeping your eye on, your how was shot, keeping your eye on, uh, Pleasing the Lord to the best of our ability, because, you know, we in this decrepit flesh. Keeping your eye on prophecy, the news, that's what we do. Keeping your eye on that. 
Because we're already separated from the world, you know. We're already separated from this world. And, you know, therefore, you know, sin and which dwell up in us. But the different things that try to pull on your, your flesh, man, and, and, and tempt you to say things, to do certain things, you know. And um, if you're keeping your eyes single and trying to walk after the, the righteousness that you have by Shemi al Shai, you know, you're going to have those temptations. You're going to have things messing with you, you know. Different demons, sleep paralysis, demons, demons jump on different people at your work or whatever, man. It's all going to happen. But if, you're, if your eye is single on your how about Shemi Shai, and you'll notice these things and you do, you'll, 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 you'll quickly realize that you do have, uh, you do have a fight, a fight that's in you, you know, that's been built up. You know, you have, you have an answer, man. You have, you have the Lord. Yeah, Bashmiel Shai. And he gave us prayer. He gave us hope. He gave us faith. So when we fighting out here, you know, you know, I speak first and foremost to myself. You no, know, hey man, just know we got the victory. We can, we can do it, man. You know, if you keep your eyes single upon the Lord, you have Bashmi Al Shai. We can do it, man. It says, "But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness." That's right. And let's get these words light and darkness in right here. That word light, right? It said full of light. Composed of light. Of a bright character. Full of light. Well lit. Keep your lamps well lit. It says lust, lustrous, transparent of well or well illuminated. Bright, full of light. That's right. Let's go to the etymology or the root word. Light, lamp. Emitted by a lamp, keeping your oil, you know, um, of he heavenly lit, such as surround angels when they appear on earth. Yeah. Anything emitted in light. Yeah. And, 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 you know, the scripture, I think it's one of the scriptures that says, uh, you know, uh, it's talking about the countenance or wisdom making for man's face to shine. You know, so other people see that, man. And those demons that's on those other people, they don't like it, man. Whenever your 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 your, your wisdom through the through the Lord, you have Bashmi Al Shai is shining. You know. And you might be uh you you know, you <laughs> You know, you might not, you might not be that good of look a person or whatever, but they can see that wisdom on you, man. They can see it shining, and they don't like it, you know, because they're of this world. Okay, so let's get that word in the next scripture. It says, "But if thy eye be evil, verse twenty three, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. Thy whole body shall be full of darkness." Scriptures say uh, to match with that. Um, something about the countenance of a man. Something changes the countenance of a man. I can't think of it right now. Maybe the brothers can put it in the comment board. Full of darkness. It says, uh, full of darkness covered with darkness. That's right. I.e., be, be nighted, dark, full of dark. Let's go into that root word. Darkness of night, darkness of darkened eyesight or blindness, blindness, you know, making the wrong judgments, the wrong decisions, which we're going to do because we're in this flesh. But, you know, sometimes the Lord will just put a reprobate spirit on you, man. Okay. You no, know, if, if you're not, you know. One of the elect, obviously, and, you know, it's all about the elect, really, man. And uh, sometimes the Lord will try you in different ways, man. 
try your test your integrity and we make we make mistakes you know the scriptures say uh good is set against evil and evil against good these two are contrary to one another roughly paraphrasing you know so it says uh down here says darkness it says of ignorance of ignorance respecting divine things yeah of ignorance yeah you forgot that it was an angel that saved you from that car wreck or or, or you forgot that the lord did something major in your life and changed things up. You know, that's living in darkness, man. You forgot about the Lord. Like these people out here. Of ignorance, respecting divine things. Respecting divine things. And human duties. Human duties. And accompanying ungodliness and immorality. Together with their consequent misery in hell. That's right. It says an accompanying ungodliness and keep that means keeping around ungodliness and immorality. Being in this world, being you know, being the same nigga that you were before you came into the truth. Okay. Man, that's 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 tough, man. That's that darkness that it's talking about. Let me read it again, Matthew six and twenty three. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. And the reason I'm doing this lesson is because you know, I was just sitting there this morning trying to figure out something to do and I you know, I was reading this and um uh, and I was thinking about a few things. You know, the elder, um, you know, the elder Ash, I think he said it in the, in the group chat, um, maybe a few weeks ago, he was speaking about how, you know, sometimes you can be, you can think that you're in the right spirit, you know, and I was uh, thinking about that statement that he made, he said, you can think that you're in the right spirit, but, you know, sometimes you got to check yourself or, you know, Somebody might have to say something or whatever because, you know, you, you thought that you was right. But, you know, and I, I been thinking about that statement, you know, and just reflecting and examining myself. And, you know, I started listening um, or started reading, actually, <clears throat> uh, the scriptures, you know, and <laughs> this is what I came up with, the light of the body. See. You know, if your eye is single, you're single up on your Habashimi Shai, you know, he's going to protect you from these storms, from these demons, from these damn things that are trying to mess with you, from temptation and things like that. That's what the scriptures are for. You know? I was thinking to myself, you know, you know, uh, you know we're going to face these things, you know? You're gonna, you're gonna. Sometimes you, 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 you'll think that you are in the right, but you know, but you'd be totally wrong, like the elder said, you know. And I'll be thinking about that over the last few hours, you know. And and I was thinking the fact that you know we're in the very last days, you know. I know I gotta, I gotta get get better at a lot of things man and um you know what we, we we in this thing to you know to to hopefully make it out of here man to escape those said perils bro you know but yeah keep your eyes single man keep your eye on the prize and like the scriptures say the race is not to the swift man Okay. We all trying to get that token. We all trying to get those shekels, man. All right. Matter of fact, <clears throat> yeah. We all trying to get those shekels, man.
and it says, uh, if therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that? How great is that darkness? That's a quite like question right there, man. We quite, we got to question ourselves, examine ourselves, question how great is that darkness? Do I got, you know, you might feel like you in the right mind or the right spirit or whatever, but you might be totally off. And that's when it comes to, you know, maybe a brother or things like that, you know, brother saying something or, you know, maybe somebody at work or somebody, you know, the Lord to put a spirit on somebody to say something. And you, you start thinking about it like, man, maybe they maybe they right, man. You know, <laughs> maybe they right, you know, because you can't go around thinking that you right all the time, man. That's not keeping your eyes single, man. You know, that's not that's not living in the light because the Lord has uh, sent an angel or he, he, he has put a spirit on somebody to say something to you. You know, and it'll be all the Lord and you can't get mad at it. You sitting there thinking about it. Then you think about it even harder and you're like, man, that might have been the Lord. Maybe, maybe maybe I need to check this out. Maybe I need to switch something up, man. You know? You know, basically, you know. And we're getting to the point where, you know, you no, know, we can't and I've been thinking about this a lot. You know, we can't be making the same mistakes all all the time, man. You know, the elders be talking about it all the time. I always see D Mass putting up videos. A little sin leadeth to this, or, you know, a little this. Uh, the, 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 the Elder Ash putting up videos about the, those things. And we in the finish line, you know. I speak first and foremost to myself. And we ain't perfect, man. But like the scriptures say, uh, the Lord will provide a, a way to escape, you know. The Lord always provide a way to escape, man. We just got to take that route. Anyway, with that, I'd like to say shalom.